Okay, we're going to set up for calibration. Hold down the menu button. Once you hold down for about three seconds, you see system setup. Hit enter, and then you're going to enter your code 04482. And then hit the enter button. That'll take you to the main menu. Go down to calibration. Machine number one will start with up to 10 machines. Go down one if you'd like to name it. Hit enter and put in your name. In this case, we'll put CAT, C A T. You can put 200, 300, whatever you want to do. After you do that, then just hit the home button. It'll take you back to the same page you were. Take you home one. And you go right arrow to digging, right arrow to boom two. You can do boom three system if you want. Right arrow to first page. This is boom one. Sensor is on the left side. So if it's the cab left side, sensor's left side. So now we want to go down arrow. We want to go to the length. To length the boom between uh, the two pins on the boom. In this case, it's 18 foot 9 inches and 55 hundredths or a little over a half inch. Put that in. You'll hit, uh, once you get it in there, you'll hit the enter button. Uh, you get as close as you can. Hit your enter button. Then you can down arrow to your angle. Angle in this case is zero because it's level straight across pin to pin. Once you get it, hit enter and it'll say OK. Next thing we're going to do is the dipper stick. Dipper stick, same thing. We got our sensor left side. We got our length. Our length is 11 foot 5 inches 10. We get that. Then we go to angle. Now that we go to angle, we have it at negative 90. When it's at negative 90, we put the plumb bob on. We get it straight. Make sure it's 90. Hit enter and you'll say OK again. And now we've put that boom in. So now we're getting ready for calibrating buckets. Calibrating buckets, just right arrow over. It's going to say which bucket. We'll start with number one. Go down just like the machine and you can name it. We'll call this a 42-inch uh, a bucket. Hit the home button when you're done. It'll take you back. You can change the tool to bucket to compactors, drills, jibs, whatever. Reverse bucket. Um, then you go to dog bone or bucket or no bucket. Uh, we'll do dog bone later. Normally you put it on your quick coupler and that's the most accurate way. So you go through and it's not a tilt bucket unless you got a tilt bucket. Straight bucket, right arrow. Sensor left side in this case and we're going to start on the length. Length is uh, 511.75. Want to enter that in. Go down to your uh, vertical plumb and your plumb is negative 90. Always negative 90 for straight up and down. Once you get it, you're going to hit the uh, input button. You got your bucket plumb, it says OK, and you're clear to go. So now we want to go down and uh, set the width of the bucket. Uh, we'll call this a four foot bucket. Uh, I think it might have been a 42, but four foot's fine. And uh, you want to put the actual width in there. Then we want to go to flat bucket. So we'll lay the bucket down flat as we can and hit enter, and it'll put in that offset. So once we get that, we're going to arrow over and there's calibration shape. That is for x-ray vision. That's another video. Arrow over again, we're going to do chassis. Chassis is really simple. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick which side the sensor is aiming. Um, it's the way the sensor plug is aiming, which uh, we'll aim this one right. Uh, normally they're aiming left towards the cab. Uh, then we're going to go to horizontal. Horizontal is really simple. Uh, it's from the center of the main boom pin back to the center of the rotation, the center of the machine. So you can see it's eight and a half inches. So we're going to input the eight and a half inches. That's the, if you look at the top view down, it'll be straight back. You can see on the side there, horizontally back is uh, eight and a half inches. So the next thing we're going to work on once we get that, it's going to be our vertical. Vertical, again, is from the center of the pin down to the bottom of the chassis. So it is two foot two and a half, uh, 0.5. The next thing we're going to do is enter in the side. Which way the boom is to the side of center, left or right? This one's one inch. So we enter it in there. And now we're going to work on our calibration. We're going to straighten it in line with the tracks. Set it zero, hit enter. When you do it, it'll beep OK. And then we'll rotate the machine 180 degrees. And we'll go down and highlight the 180 degrees. Again, hit enter. 
It'll say OK, and now it's taken the two points and calibrated the chassis sensors. OK, so now we're going to work on the laser. So we've mounted on the left side boom 2, which is a dipper stick. You can put it on boom 1 if you want. Um, but boom 2 normally is uh, much easier to reach and grab the laser. So you want to first make sure you got on the left side. And you go down and it says boom 1 right now. So we'll go highlight it and change it to boom 2. Uh, then we'll go down and we're going to do the width, or horizontal, I'm sorry. Horizontal is from the closest pin to the cab to the left. It's facing this side. So you want to measure it. It's 5, 4, 10. Put that in. Vertical is from, if you pull a string line between the two pins, out. In this case, it's uh, 6 inches. So you're going to put in 6 inches on the vertical. Uh, that simple. And then the last thing is boom width. Where the laser is mounted, how wide the boom is, how thick it is. Uh, in this case, it's about 10 inches. Um, so you just put in your 10 inches and you're ready to go from there. 996, close enough to 10. So you go back and you always, last thing for sure is you want to save. It's going to count from 0 to 100. Let's put it up there for you. Enough. And the next thing we'll talk about is the sensor on the dog bone. Now, if you put your sensor on your dog bone because you're changing buckets, go ahead and shortcut us, hit the F4, it'll flash, hit the menu button like changing buckets. We're going to just redo this bucket. Uh, we had it on bucket before, now we're going to change it to dog bone. Simple enough. We go in and we measure the four segments. Segment one, two, three, and four. We've got a mark for you. Enter each one of those in. Very simple. Uh, once you enter those in, you're going to go down to your... Um, leveling the segments, a sensor on the left side in this case, you can see I got it aiming left towards the cab. So you want to then go down to your segment number one and you'll see me highlight it here. There you go. And you can see I put the level on segment number one when it's dead level and you're good. Zero, you hit enter. When you hit enter, it'll say okay. It took it, flashed it in. You're going to go down to segment two. You're going to put your plumb bob on segment two. When you get a plumb, you're going to change segment two. You see the cursor? Move over three. Go down to negative 90 because it's vertical. And once you do that, your level, your square, you hit your enter button. And it'll say OK and beep. And you have now set the dog bone up. Dog bone will work for all your buckets. Um, then you can go and you, it'll ask you about your bucket. We've already put the bucket in on this one, the negative 90 offset and our width of our bucket and it's that simple again we go down and we save do not forget to save always very important thanks and uh i dig best.com 317 210 0220 any questions thank you